What's going on, guys? Shot Show 2023 here at the Surefire booth with our buddy Andrew. Uh, he's been telling me they have a couple of new things and then some updates and some other stuff. Dude, take it away. Yeah, man. So as we were just saying, um, we're doing our best to not show any product until it's actually ready to ship. We're guilty of showing things far before we can actually produce it. <laughs> you know, it frustrates customers. It frustrates us because a lot of times the product evolves. So we're really doing our best to kind of button down and show what we've actually got. got Big it. emphasis is Turbo Series is finally shipping. Nice. Um, you're familiar with them. Yes. If you're not, basically those are our Heikandela uh, line of lights. So we have handgun weapon lights like X300s and X400s uh, in Turbo Series. Um, super, super Heikandela. They're uh, 66,000 for the handgun variants. Nice. The carbine yeah. variants are scout lights up to 100,000 Candela on the, the 6 volt version or the 18650 gotcha. slash 2123 version and then 95,000 Candela for the mini scout turbo. Damn. Um, so super excited for those. The mini scout turbo is using an 18350 or a single 123 so that's cool too. From yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know about the mini scout turbo. That's cool. Like yeah, you yeah. that much Candela out of that little guy. Yep. And then we have the handhelds coming. It's the same kind of output uh, just in a handheld form factor. Both a two cell and a single cell coming as well. Gotcha. Um, brand new though are these switches yeah, we have. Um, so basically, if you're familiar with our SR07, it's a rail grabbing pressure switch that uh, had a dome switch for constant on and then mm -hmm. a pressure pad. This is eliminating the pressure pad to make it a little bit more compact, easier uh, as far as packaging goes, whether you have short rails or limited real estate, it fits in a little smaller. Um, we've added a little bit more travel to the dome switch so that you can work it as a momentary switch pretty consistently. Okay. So it's not just a constant on. You can use it as a momentary or you can push it all the way through to click for constant on. Yeah, I always like that you guys integrate your mounting platform into one thing so it's not put this in this yep. and then clamp it on. You need eight so. things to do it, yeah. yeah. So that's the Picatinny variant that grabs onto a rail. Um, there's also on the Picatinny variant the slits for zip ties if you really want to make sure it's secure. Oh, nice. You can put some small zip ties through it. And then uh, there's an M-Lock variant as well. You can attach directly to an M-Lock rail. Um, so some cool new, yeah, uh, more compact. For 45 degree M-Lock, it's perfect, man. So you can come right here. Exactly. I was playing with it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, man. Yeah. And I know, I know the whole don't want to promise when, but this this year, March. Yeah, March. Okay. Uh, that, that's what I'm being told is that we should have these on the shelves by March time frame. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then we have uh, another brand new item, our Warcomp Sport. So if you're not familiar, you know we make muzzle brakes. Uh, muzzle brakes, you know, mitigate recoil, reduce muzzle rise, but they do make a little bit of flash. Uh, we make flash hiders, um, both closed tine and open tine flash hiders. Really good job of, of reducing or eliminating your flash signature. Um, and then we make a Warcomp, which is basically a directionally controlled flash hider with some ports on the top that helps keep your muzzle flattened on target. Oh. Doesn't eliminate recoil, but it keeps the gun flattened on target, and it does a really good job of controlling your flash. It's a flash hider first, and then it does the best it can at keeping the muzzle on target. Those devices are all um, SOCOM suppressor mounting devices, so yep. they're machined with extremely high tolerances. It makes them kind of pricey to, to, to manufacture. There's a lot of QC processes to make sure that there's no point of impact shift when you mount a suppressor. Sure. Because of that, we have our Pro Comp, which is a non-suppressor bearing muzzle brake. It's a more cost-effective option if you're just looking for a muzzle brake. You don't need those high tolerances machined into there, and you can eliminate some cost. We have our Eliminator, which is just a, a flash hider. Mm -hmm. Again, it does not mount a suppressor, and it's more cost-effective. Does a really good job of uh, flash hiding. This is the Warcomp Sport, same deal. Yeah. Does not mount a suppressor, but it works just the same as a normal Warcomp. It'll eliminate your flash, keep the muzzle nice and on target, and it's a $99 MSRP, so a good chunk cheaper than the uh, the standard Warcomp. We were talking earlier, so like, if you're not familiar with the Warcomp guys, like every ADM video I've done, I have Warcomps on all of them. All, I pin and weld them all for my 13.7s and 14.5s, because it'll give you that overall length. But in addition to that, guys, the way you can time these, like I'm a right-handed shooter, I seldom ever shoot left-handed, so I actually time my to where it's pushing the rifle from the right, top right, back down left, and it keeps it stupid flat. So I'm stoked that you guys are coming out with this version because I ran the Pro Comp for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I'd buy like 10 of them having all of my different rifles because I didn't need a suppressor when I was shooting matches. But that's super cool that you guys are bringing the work on to that same lineup. Yeah, I think it'll do very well and uh, good to have another cost-effective option. So. Cool, man. And then this is something, guys. So I actually yeah. had a customer reach out and he was talking about the XSCB and I was like, wait, what? So with the recent like releases of the Hellcat Pro, mm -hmm. the 365 Macro. These guys, these companies are going to subcompact guns or micro guns or whatever you want to call them, but they're using 1913 Picatinny rails. And a lot of people aren't familiar with that. And uh, on Surefire's lineup, they were making XSC lights that were directly for these subcompacts. That way you got an you know, extremely tight fit and 
was made directly for it. So XSC you would have for the Glock or the Hellcat version or the SIG version. Well now with all these Picatinny rails coming out, the Surefire actually made the XSC-B. Um, there's a few of them out in the wild. I didn't even know about this, but it's good to see this because I do have a lot of customers asking like, hey, I've invested in the XSC series for all my subcompacts, but now I'm getting into the macros and the Hellcat Pros, and so now you guys are covering that, so. Yep, that's yeah, a fourth addition to the XSC line, as you mentioned. The, the first one, we had a Glock 4348 MOS variant for the railed Glock 43 and 48s. Um, then we have the uh, the Hellcat variant, the 365 variant. There's three different versions because yeah. they were all using their own rails. Yep. Um, and then this was a request that we kept getting, um, so this is just that 1913 variant. Um, still the XSC form factor as far as all the output and the battery goes. It's just the, the rail attachment's a little bit different. Nice. Yep. And guys, understand, like, we were talking about, like, you know, on the holster side of things, for them to address, you know, SIG, then Springfield, and then Glock, and then now they're like, hey, we're gonna move on to these other rails. They're getting you guys covered. So look out for the XSCB if you're running those new guns, like the, the X-Macro and the Hellcat Pro, and anything that's running a full rail. So they have that model coming out. Uh, I'm stoked to see it, because I do like the light. I like the rechargeable factor. Mm -hmm. I like being able to just pop another battery in, and the other one stays at home, ready yeah. to go. So. And then the other stuff, guys, like they were saying, I know people are asking XR1, XR2. <laughs> guys, everybody got hit last year with supply chain issues throughout the industry. I mean, we were talking with Holosun about it, same thing, so, you know. Bye. It was a rough year. Hopefully soon. We want it just as bad as you guys. Yeah. But I am stoked to see the new pressure switches. Um, I like, this isn't, like, look how short this is, and this is exactly what I need. Going from here, straight into the light, underneath the laser device, I can go off on the 45 to where it's not hitting my pack, it's not hitting my D-ball, and I have all that rail space now, so. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm stoked to see it, man. Glad to see you, dude. Appreciate you stopping by. So. Yeah, yeah.